Hello everybody, welcome to the Chalice Season 5 Round of 16 match between Diomed with his Necromantic up against Martin Crew with his Orcs. Um, Diomed is down a tiny bit of TV, he's got a Bloodweiser keg and he's won the toss and chose to receive. Martin Crew has a bunch of skills. He's actually, no, he's not actually light on the Mighty Blow. I thought he was light on the Mighty Blow. What's he light on? Uh, pretty much nothing. This is pretty good, isn't it? Oh, he's got a couple of Rue keys. That's what's bad. But guard stand firm there. Got, what, about five Mighty Blow? I guess he's a bit light on guard, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven guard is actually light for orcs, right? Missing, missing these two, and hasn't got any doubles. But got a sneaky, get dirty player. Got a movement up, Mister Throw. And uh, got a couple of tacklers. Four stand firm. So yeah, pretty decent, pretty decent team. Twelve players. Uh, Diamond. It's a break tackle raid, but yeah, guards, some AV ups, block guard fleshies, sneaky get dirty player, and two. Nice, but not amazing wolves, right? The only stats are plus AVs, they don't have any strength or edge, which are like obviously the best ones for wolves. And it's got a double with mighty blow tackle wolf. It's not the not the not the greatest team ever, honestly, for Diamed, but Diamed is, you know, one of the best coaches on Blood Bowl 3. So what? what can I say? Oh, it's the eye of aggression setup that Art likes. It's obviously not optimal. Um, it's better to have people on the corners here to stop the side blitzers. But actually, if you want to if you want to protect those players, then there is a there is a reason to do this setup, isn't there? Gonna uh, put a fleshy in and blitz this one. That seems prudent. Good evening, Ali Raider. Solid D. We all love a solid D. <laughs> and nearly all, I guess. <laughs> Wasn't a wasn't a great setup against the blitz, was it from Diamond? It could have had this guy smashed by a mighty blow tackle. And a gaping hole. I'm not sure that there was a satisfactory defence against it, but you know, it is what it is. That might make his blitz in a little bit trickier, but maybe not. He can um, put in the zombie there, the guard there, blitz from here. If he pushes, 
he can um, push him to there. And so we need another player, right? It's not great, is it? He could do this block first, and then he could push him into this one, into the fleshy. So that's probably the play, isn't it? Try to get this hit off. Can he get this hit off? Not easily. <laughs> 1D the uh, troll for a pal. 50-50. Then that gives you 2D on him. So you can push him to there. And then you can put in these two here and here. And blitz this guy. And if he doesn't stand firm you push him into him. Into the fleshy. So you get to hit him. I think that's what I'd do. I mean, you're just trying to bang at this point. Oh, you can just you can just push him away anyway. If he doesn't stand firm. Disregard, I'm an idiot. If he doesn't stand firm, you just push him into this one, which pushes him up to there, and that's still good, isn't it? He's still got a guard out for some reason. I was thinking it wasn't when it was. So no reason to start with a 1D. Idiot Jim. To be fair, I've just gotten up. It is 5am in the UK. Um, so, you know, very, very difficult to... Uh, do anything. Didn't move any further. That's interesting, isn't it? I've definitely tried to protect him. But was this was this a misclick? That seems kind of crazy, right? One, two... Well, there's about four to there, and then... Why don't you want to run back? He is hopelessly exposed here, this wolf. I mean, yes, all these players are getting knocked over. Nice dice, by the way. But, um... This guy's getting nailed by Mighty Blow Tackle instantly. Instantly! Getting some blocks back as well, isn't he? Mighty Blow Block back there, Mighty Blow Block back there. Only a stun on the foul. Maybe, maybe that he was there for the assist, but then he could have been one down at least. At least make it a little bit harder to hit him. Failed the pick up. It's just a rookie ghoul. Oh, that's why Diomed's team wasn't as high, right? Surely he had a ghoul that died, right? Like, surely he had like a block sidestep sure hands ghoul or something that died. He, that's why he's about 60 short. Of, he's about 60 or 80 short of the cap. And that's why he's got the uh, the Bloodweiser keg. So yeah, the, the rookie ghoul carrier is not great, is it? Probably should have stood this. Well, definitely should have stood this guy up first. Fair enough, seeing you know where this guy so doesn't necessarily just pile in. But you have to blitz this guy. There's no. There's no option there. And the sneaky get foul him as well. Reroll, instant. Yeah, like it. Go there to assist. Okay, I'd, I'd have gone like further away, but I guess this is protecting your black orc a bit bigger. This guy can go three in, can't he, for another assist? And this guy can go to the corner for another assist. Oh, no, that's okay. Yeah, okay, that's better. Yeah, better to protect you. Better protect your lineman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Expo ex like how stupid is it that exposing your tackle mighty blow guard to a hit isn't as bad? Like, you know, like, as stupid as your blitzer, your, your three skill blitzer, right? 140 TV, it's better to expose him to getting hit than your bloody sneaky get dirty player, that's how stupid 
um, fouling is these days. And there you go, the wolf is lost. It was very weird, I thought, leaving him there. Maybe he misclicked. Now Diamond looks a bit toothless, doesn't he? Uh, without without the wolf there and the rookie carrier, this is oof. The Orcs look pretty strong. That's the thing, isn't it? In like in NAF style, generally the, the Necros have got more skills than the Orcs, so they equal them in guard. And then they have like pretty much a better team, but when when they're massively outguarded like this it becomes pretty tricky for them. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Um, good question. Um, I don't know what TVs these teams are. Um, but yeah, you'd normally expect to see at least one or two defensive on a Chalice team. Oh, so in this case, he's got a rookie Biggin, right? So I guess a Biggin died that could have had defensive. You don't really want it before these four, right? Block guard, stand firm, mighty blow. Right. These are the four perfect skills. And then the fifth is defensive. So I guess he just hasn't got there. Is is the answer. And then maybe the one who did get, get there died. But maybe he just didn't get there. But yeah, it's certainly very, very desirable. But only in this kind of format, right? Not in Redraft or in NAF style. Man, I really sit bear with me all the time. So just can bang as much as you can right now as the Orcs. The only thing you care about is maximizing blocks. Smash everything to bits. The flesh is a grip this by this point, aren't it? With stand firm, thick skull, and regen. Bit rubbish at rookie, I think. Honestly, I think they're a bit rubbish at rookie. At rookie, they're basically just like, you know, worse than a big gun, right? But then, once they get block, once they get one skill, probably they kind of leap ahead. But with block and guard, they're pretty great. Obviously, the um, stand firm has synergy with the. Uh, with the wolves. Sideline play and blitzing into them. Was it 1700? Uh, do you know what? I'll tell you. I've got the Nuffle XYZ season 5. I'll tell you what the... Ch what the uh, Are we the baddies? Or 1700? So, yeah, 1700 is the cap, and they are at it. Max cap. So, to fit a defensive, he'd have to drop things. Um, oops. 
the air. There you go. That's interesting, isn't it? Yes, exactly what Sol said. So, yeah, 1700 is a bit light, isn't it? 1800. Season 6 is 1800. So, season 6, I'd imagine every single team will have one or two defensive. But for this, yeah, it's. Uh, 40 is very expensive. And uh, so, yeah, NAF, there's fewer skills and they don't have agility access. And in redraft, um, you don't like get the extreme number of games to get all of the SPPs, um, is the problem. Like, like, an, like a troll wants it, like a guard, a block guard. Stand firm defensive troll is incredible, right? Like you don't even need blocking it, honestly. But if you've got guard and stand firm and defensive, then it's great, right? But that's just so many SPPs to get, and like to redraft it would be really difficult and stuff. So in redraft formats, or like most leagues, you're just not going to get the chance. But in this kind of format, you know, Infinity Bow, as some people have called it. Then absolutely you get to you know play a million games to just wait until things get random and stuff. Like you could you could just cycle a troll out until you got a random defensive right or a random block. You could just do that, whereas you could never do it in redraft. Hello, Steve. <laughs> yeah, basically I already. Yeah, like the funny thing is, like if you play the game the way it says in the book, where you're in a league of like eight people and you play 15 games and then you redraft with a TV cap of 1300 no one's ever taking defensive uh, basically so you've got one stun there blocked some things and uh, you know not not too bad for Diamond, right? Only one player to stand up there. Or two? Maybe two players stand up. And one stun. So not, not terrible. Yeah, this one stood up as well. Can take removals. Get some blocks back. Maybe, yeah. Maybe crew could have like done more to stop the counter hits. Like maybe over here, right? Like the uh, this strength four guarders. Not in a great spot. Neither's this one. But you know, what can you do? How old super G? The uh, flesh is making annoying, don't they? Because you can't. Like, if he could have got the push, he could have made this block, pushed him in, then got the 2D here and stuff, and then followed. And it would have been like the stand firm is surprisingly good from a defensive stat point, stopping them getting in guards and like, getting more blocks against you. Almost with a 1D. Oh, he's followed. Well, that guy's in danger, isn't he? The ball carrier blitz, a classic. Not that bad, obviously, but you know, one in nine or whatever gets pretty, pretty dangerous. Oh, he's got this one; can just go all the way. I think he's got a dodge maybe. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this one needed to be like one forward. No, 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 you can get there. You can get there with a, a wraith, but it's got a dodge double GFI. Oh, okay, yeah, so that's the problem. I don't know, I still think you have to go there because now there's a hole, isn't there? But I guess no, it's not easy to get through that hole. So that saves him having to do. No, he did do the job. Okay, well. 
I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that that's better than him being one down and him being one down. I feel like maybe they could have both been one down to stop this through, but I guess this through isn't so bad, is it? Because he can't dodge, well, he could dodge, but dodging off isn't great. This has got two players, but neither tackle. Mr. Throw Hero player. Maybe not, eh? So funny, isn't it? You know, like, uh, Martin Crew is basically prioritising banging in, like, an early turns of the drive. Bang, bang, bang. And while that's allowed Diamond to, you know, get a breakthrough and maybe score next turn, it just means he's going to 2-1 grind him, doesn't it? Which is fine. So he just has to uh, put a modicum of pressure on this turn. And negate the stall possibility and he'll be in a very strong position. <laughs> so I guess this sort of thing would be the overblocking Super G, seeing as we were talking about it today. You know, like I'd push him here and get an extra block with mighty blow tackle. But maybe it's better to just push him there and then have this plate to come back and cover the break. So, interesting. So I guess it's just things like that. Just little things like that. But, this block might roll a pow. <laughs> and it's a sneaky get dirty player. And it's mighty blow. And it's got no apo. And it's armor 8 plus. It could have just easily died. So, you know, I'm not sure that running this guy over here to put pressure on is better than blocking. It's annoying because you don't, re you don't read either of these guys getting punched by a necro, do you? A wolf? Necro sausage. Could put them both in. But then one gets served. Probably just like, probably just, you know, dodges and serves one. So you could go there and there. That's that's not bad, is it? There and there with those two. I'd imagine. Yeah. These two squares, I think. But then he doesn't want to. He doesn't want him to. Uh, he doesn't want to stop him scoring, right? He just wants to stop the stall. So sneaky get foul over here. And he's going to try and get enough pressure with only four players. I don't know. I think he should have probably put another player to pressure the stall. I don't think. I think. Timer's gonna get another turn of stall here probably. Yeah, could have just fouled the wraith, yeah. They found the wraith's better, right? Yeah, that's a good point. You can go there to assist and then there and foul, and then you've got a two assist foul. It's the same as the one assist foul on him. But Okay, he hasn't. He's got regen, but still, you know, if you lose this player, it's that much harder for Diamond to stall, and the turns of stall do make a big difference. Each turn of stall that you can stop. Hello, Christopher B. Uh, four turns is fine, but you know, you might get another turn of stall. You don't know, and uh, it is, certainly five is better than four, isn't it? Especially up against stand firm and sidestep. So I do feel like a little bit further back would have been good for cruel. You've got to be cruel to be kind.
I feel pretty uh, not unhappy, but I wouldn't feel too pleased about this if I was my crew. Obviously, Diamed's feeling terrible, but I feel like you know you've removed, you've killed this wolf. Like I want. I want to end this half one look now as Martin Crew, right? You've negated his mighty blow claw for the entire half. Um, you know, this is just. This is maybe another turn of store, right? Not great. Precious for tyres, yeah. Big difference if these if there was two players here, and like maybe this guy was stunned, but instead they weren't, and we've got another turn star. Yeah, we've got we've got the thematic uh, what's it called? You know the cheerleaders that people have chosen. You get to see them uh, on the pitch at each end, and there if they take them, but you know nobody takes them right there. Nobody takes them on their team because they're rubbish. So you just have zones with no cheerleaders. So it's much better that they have cheerleaders now. A great addition to the video game. As much as some grumpy people say they don't matter and stuff like this, it does matter, right? It's it's. Uh, it's an experience, isn't it, a video game, and you want things to be nice? Huge pal. But that frees him unless he bases him. But I guess you can base the ghoul with the tackle. He's basing the ball with the tackle, yeah. Is he going to double base him? The problem is with that angle, it it would make like the chain possible. He's not he's not dual basing. The wraith can come in here, right? Assist both blocks. Maybe get a cas. This one not too easy to dodge out. He could try and get another turn of stall out of this. The, the Wraith could come up there and he could like blitz with a wolf. And then go back. Or like, go over here and then 2D him and pound and go up there or something. This one could dodge out and tag him off. I don't know. Yeah, he's going for both of them. You could open with a goo block to see what happens. The problem is the added risk of a blockless block. But you would have had more information for your uh, for where to put the go the wolf and stuff, and whether to score or stall. Oh, it's just stall, it's just scoring anyway. So there you go. Maybe you could have tried another turn of stall, but uh, it wasn't looking good, was it? So yeah, four turns for the orcs to score back. The wolf stays KO'd. Huge KO fail.
We're still full of leaven, of course. See this kind of formation quite a lot with Necro defending uh, kind of quick scores. I don't know why he's three back rather than two back. But surely there's a reason. It's really hard to fill the uh, dead air, isn't it, when you're on your own? <laughs> Maybe replays is the best for most of these. Cheeky quick snap, might as well. Might as well go under it. There's no strip ball or anything, he's only movement six. So. Uh, there's nobody else, no, I've been, I've been in the booth and I've been waiting, but there's nobody else. Very sad. Lonely Jim, nobody in the booth. I am here. Apparently Elliot is here. <laughs> I just need to just get him on and record like entire half conversations with me. And I can just play the appropriate one. <laughs> Elliot Corecaster, fantastic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's. <laughs> that's actually genius, that. <laughs> <laughs> you could you could you could do them for all of them, couldn't you? You could just have Kalon just going, Ooh, that's interesting. And then you know, that could play at any point and ooh, super interesting. That would work all the time. And then yeah, Dimmy, I wouldn't have done ooh, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> and then no matter what was happening. <laughs> A knobs OP would always be appropriate. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. Oh. Penetration. I mean, that's always relevant, isn't it? <laughs> Four panic. <laughs> Scores for the Zombo. running out of time, yeah. Yeah, three minutes left after five turns. But I mean, Diamond down to 450 as well. Exactly the boom, yeah, exactly. That was durable, wasn't it? That's why there was only uh, 
five people who chose them because they're just they're just too overpowered. About three hundred people used rats and thirty no three hundred games of rats, right? It was games. So about three hundred no, maybe it's about five hundred games of rats, I can't remember. And only thirty games of knobs. Tragic. So, you know, not much to it, right? You don't have to do all this elf columns nonsense that people get obsessed by. As long as you whack some players in the way, that's good enough, isn't it? Lift him there to get a follow-up follow block. If it wasn't a power. Also, that block could have then, like, freed a player potentially from it. To an extent. So yeah, defend the middle hard is pretty good. And then push them towards the sideline if you can. Or let themselves push themselves towards the sideline and then your wolf can uh, maybe he's gonna surf or whatever. Shut down the side with sidestep and stand firm. Both of the uh oh, and both are on like the outside edges, aren't they? So they can if there's a switch they can try and seal the edge. <laughs> oh, honestly, silence is golden, isn't it? When, like, honestly, <laughs> that's really, uh, that's absolutely the best thing about being single, is just, like, fucking silence. Oh. <laughs> So there you go, yeah. Enjoy enjoy the silence while you've got it out. Wait, you have players between your teeth here and then these ball carriers. Get bamboozled. Full pal, mighty blow. No foul, obviously. The uh, stupid troll is a little bit of a concern, isn't it? Might see a shuffle over to here. Hopefully, he realizes that the troll's stupid. <laughs> Unlike Yudi, famously. <laughs> Very good to be with. Oh, so hopefully Krill will realise that this troll is stupid. And, uh, this isn't secure. It's uh It's interesting, isn't it? it gets the knockdown with block. But the problem is that's where he really where he wanted to stand. And now he's got a GFI and he can get hit by the troll, so I 
mean, the thing is, De Boomer, you've met out mean. Uh, all, he, all he gets is dumb arguments. <laughs> That's his entire life up to this point. <laughs> so yeah, there isn't a there isn't like a way in, is there? But it's just a mess, you know, now you've got two turns and like, you know, thinking back, maybe there was overblocking that turn on defence, right? Maybe if he'd got... Well, not even just overblocking, it was all the foul, right? You had the two players that could have either screened off or they could have fouled the Wraith. And if those two players were in his backfield, maybe he stops a turn of stall. And if he stops a turn of stall, maybe he gets this touchdown. But he might get it anyway, but it's not looking good, is it? This stall isn't looking... The score isn't looking nailed on at all. That's the mine crew. But it's kind of tough, right? It's a kind of a tough offense. It's kind of tough. Necro are not easy to uh, penetrate. What you could do here is blitz this guy to chin your guy forward to uh, hit there, but it didn't do a whole lot. But something you can do when you need ground, isn't it? But Nice to hear, isn't it? Very nice. Oh, the troll. Was he just recovering? We'll never know. Maybe, right? Bringing in the big one. See if he gets this knockdown. This is a pretty big block. He does. He kind of needed. But like, why is he even? What? Where is he going? What's he doing? There's nowhere to go, is there? the corner. Okay, this is where it go. This ray should have been here maybe. But then I guess you could have gone through there. So here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then dodge him through as well. Wait, no he hasn't blitzed. He, he can just blitz and uh, but you need to pow. Maybe the throw goes here. Three, four, five, six. And then this guy blitz oh no there's a, yeah he stands up and this guy blitzes him. That's it isn't it? Yeah, there's a way through here, a very nice way through actually. Okay, you can go up there as well. If you're going to do that though, I feel like that's worse. I prefer it up this way. Yeah, yeah, this hit could have been with this blitzer and then this big one could have gone one, two. No, this this guy blitzing's good. This guy blitzing's really good. Stand him up, throw it to there, he blitzes four, five, six. This guy runs off up to there and then the ball goes over here. That was pretty good, I thought. Oh yeah, this is sidestep. Oh god. Yeah, no, blitzing sidestep was terrible. Had to not blitz sidestep. This was the one to blitz, 100%. And he could have stood up to cancel this assist. He could have gone for the offensive assist. And they split if he, obviously, if he full pals and he gets through without dodging.
So then that'd be four, five, six, and then the big one, one, two, three, four, five. So you could have used the big one, yeah. So you actually could have gone him first, and then the big one could have got there, and the ball would have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, like the GFI or two. That that was definitely the play, yeah. Don't worry, crew. I'm not going to call you absolutely terrible. It was tough. It was a tough turn. But then, yeah, realising there was still a blitz was nice, wasn't there? And then seeing this seeing this channel open up and then realising there was a blitz, I think that was the play to get the blitz with him and then move off. And then the one that didn't block here comes up. And as it happens, it could have been, it could have been a block with the blitzer and then the big and further up. As it is, he's got to chain himself forward one somehow. Oh yeah, plus there's this one with stand firm. Oh yeah, so maybe actually, maybe it was better to block with the big one and then get this guy stood up here with stand firm, right? As a, as a secondary scoring threat, was good as well. No. Well, there you go. Um, wow. I mean, there was no one in nine dodges, right? If you if you do this blitz, that's the thing. Only a push. to hit it with this one. It was totally fine, nothing wrong. Ooh, what he should have done is, though, um, activated the troll, right? Oh, maybe not, because he's got guard there. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god, gets a cast, huge. Huge. So this is the big hit now, isn't it? This is a huge one over here. Oh, foul appearance! Uh, did re-roll it and double won the foul appearance. Mine got. Yeah, there is the zombie chain to push him in range, but then he's in a really shit spot if he gets chained in, especially after all these hits. Try and knock him down. Yeah. Now try and knock him down. And then go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, he didn't stand firm though. Oh, disaster. Absolute disaster. He probably should have made that block with the troll right. I was thinking of hitting it with a troll. It was subconsciously. But, um. Now you can move this guy around. One, two, three, four, five. Double GFI. Block this one. Chain him to there. And then dodge off to Blitz here. Oh no, it doesn't matter. He's got a three out there. Fuck me. I didn't see that he just had a three plus hour. I'm really bad lately. I'm really bad lately just seeing what's happening. I thought this was a four. Oh, rolls a one on the handoff. Double one on the handoff. So he double won the foul appearance, and then he double won the handoff as well. Nice dice. Where'd you get him? And the Wraith did feel regen, but the wolf is back. Still, that's very nice, only facing one Wraith, isn't it? And Crew can still win in overtime, right? He hasn't uh, hasn't taken any damage whatsoever. And he was still banging the uh, Necro that half, even though he didn't get great penetration. So, 
No need to panic yet. It should still win this in overtime. Well, I say that. Should make it to overtime. Then it's 50-50, isn't it? If he loses the toss, it'll depend. What's left, like the Nepo might be able to punch it in for another score. Martin Cruz down a minute now. This is a big problem for him, actually. Big problem. Diamed didn't use much on defense, but Martin Cruz used a lot on offense. And now, you know, he's got to do another offensive eight turn drive. He's got to speed up. And, you know, maybe he'll do worse if he speeds up. Running out of time, it's. I mean, the first time it caught me with my pants down. And then after that, I made sure to play fast and not get into trouble. But um, but I can play fast anyway, right? So, like, I was playing slower because we were talking. And then not having the time bank caught me by surprise because I've never run out of time bank before. But, um, yeah, running out of time bank is... It, yeah, it's it's you know it's going to be real real tough for him if he if he can't play as fast as me, which seeing as he's used like six minutes of his time bank already, it's safe to say that he can't. So this could be a big problem for Martin Crew. I kind of hate this thing that people do, um, because you're inviting the pressure, right? Like, if you hold a high line and you stop people getting through, then, like, one versus one in the backfield is kind of better than six versus five, right? So, I kind of hate the, the team split here, voluntary team split. This is, uh, this is a bit of a problem. He's in a bit of a pickle. Poor. Gotta play faster. They're like this is a basic turn, right? This is a basic turn. Should have been bosh, bosh, bosh. Do all the things, knock it out, and instead it's like you know we're already one minute, fifteen seconds in, and we've moved like you know some players and made some easy, automatic two DBs. Still gonna go into time bank this turn as well. So yeah, this is. Uh, this is a big problem for Martin Crew. Fucking do something! <laughs> do it fast! Pick up the ball, don't dip into your time bank on like the easiest turn ever. Like this is, this is Sol play right now. No offense Sol, but this is Sol play, right? Like this is Sol, this is what Sol was doing in some of the games. Uh, I remember the first turn and a half, wasn't it? Now it's weird, right? Because first turn and a half can be critical. First half of the t first turn of the half can be critical, the most critical. But also, um, I remember Sol had one turn where it was Skaven versus something. Obviously, it was Skaven, it was Super League, and like dipped like one or two minutes in the time bank, just to just to you know do that, you know. Just to go like one or two minutes. Oh, sorry, I lost my track there. There's a dude standing on the line with us that I don't understand. Wait, there was a perfect defense, or a solid defense that did that. Um, if you're referring to these two, it wasn't just it wasn't just an insanely bad setup and then no reaction from Martin Cruel. It was a solid defense. Um, Oh, you mean he didn't make the block in time? Yeah, he just ran out of time. He just didn't make that block in time. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy, right? But he just ran out of... Well, he didn't. He made this hit because he was panicking over the time, I guess. But, like, dude, if you're panicking over the time, just fucking hit him. 
Yeah, sorry, I was bamboozled. Yeah, like you just gotta, you've gotta, you've gotta make these hits, man. This this guy, this guy was about here, and just moved up to do nothing. Like if you're gonna do that, just blitz with him. If you don't know what to do, just blitz and, and yeah, get the time. So I have been, I have not been judgmental at all of the play until this point. Um, but yes, but but you still pit first, right? It's cause, it's because he like kind of panicked, I think because he's using so much time and he thought oh, fuck it I'll just go for the pickup but just hit this guy first you've got to you've got to so I think I think this could be very bad for Martin Krull in terms of the time pressure now having said that now Diamond is into his time bank <laughs> ah, guess you was getting hit by mighty blow tackle then, buddy. Both of them, both of them, right? He punches this one directly. Well, not not instantly, but you know, just got to block with the uh, troll, or yeah, okay, he's got to block with the troll, and then block him with mighty blow. And he's got to blitz him with my blow. And he can sneaky get dirty play in as well. Oh my god, instant cars. Just play faster, Martin Crew. Play faster. You have to play faster. This is interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. Hello, Pirate Bear. It's interesting, this, because this is like. I've got no idea how good Martin Crew is. But. Let's say he's a 65 percenter and, and maybe, you know, he's playing at a, you know, let, well, let's say he's a 60 percenter, but he's playing at a 65 percent level by using all of his time bank. Um, but so like, you no, know, maybe if he doesn't, you know, maybe if he plays fast, maybe he falls from a 65 to a 55. Right. And if he does that versus Diamed, then that's real bad, isn't it? So. And I'm just pulling numbers out my arse here. I'm not. I'm not judging at all. But like, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, do you know I mean like? Obviously, if I was to take ten minutes a turn and think a lot, I'd do. I'd play better than I did in Blitz Pit, right? Like, obviously, the longer you take, and if you're actually using the time, you're gonna make better decisions, right? So, like, he's moved three players in a minute and ten seconds. So, that's not good. <laughs> Not good at all. Um, so even though, like, you know, the plays might be good, it's just not good taking this long, right? It's unacceptable taking this long. This guy has to blitz the... Uh, well, he's already blitzed. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. Okay, he's picked up the ball. You have to foul this wolf. You just have to foul the wolf now, right? You've got this secured. Foul the wolf. You can bring this guy back if you want. Foul the wolf. Block this. Block this. Feel bad about him. Then maybe bring somebody else in, whatever, but... That was an irrelevant move. That was a really bad move. Because this is already three dice with the two guards here. This is already three dice. I, he's in a time bank. Has to stop this really fast. Like, he's got to make the gear change. Like, he has to. He can't keep doing this, right? He has to make the gear change. Eventually. Or he's just going to run out of turn, run out of time every turn, right? So he has to make the gear change. At some point, like these are easy turns. These aren't creating penetration versus necro turns. These are just bosh, bosh, bosh. Two dbs, two dbs, and he's thirty seconds deep in a time bank this turn. I mean, the good thing for him is that Diamond's not going to have any players left soon. It's still running down. You have one move you can possibly make. <laughs> you have to play faster, Martin Krill. You have to play faster. And this guy had to fall from up here. This is... I'm sorry, I can't... Like, I can't not say it, right? Because it's... Like, 
like like Sol only ran out of time to move the rat ogre, right? It becomes priority A. And it's not just priority A, it's priority A, B, C and D. You know, you cannot run out of time. You have to have you have to be finishing your turns on time. The easy ones. The easy ones you have to run out like you have to not run out of time on the easy turns. And now he's only got twenty five seconds for like the hardest turn, you know, on like turn fourteen or fifteen or turn twenty two or something. And then he's gonna not have any time left by then. And he just can he make this gear change at all, right? It might just not be possible to make this gear change whatsoever. So I don't want to just like, you know, flog a dead horse and just keep going on and on and on and on, on, on about it. But it's way more important than the decisions he's making is how fucking long he's taking to make them. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, he did, didn't he? He knocked it away, yeah. Yeah, that was really weird. Really, really, really weird to knock it away in the troll. He didn't not sidestep. This, this other one was sidestep. That's why he didn't get the extra assist on it. And he's just dodging for the 1D. Gets the full pow. And by the way, this guy did absolutely nothing, right? It was already a 3D. This guy did absolutely nothing. This guy could have been back here screening. And that, so there was already a mistake that's led to a sack. While he had time. So yeah, like th these first few turns were just automatic blocks. Easy, easy turns. Not zero thinking turns. And I'm not sure about Diamond putting a reroll here. I guess Diamond's thinking because of the turn. Because of the time count, I guess Diamond's thinking, hang on. If I can make him think here. If I could just get players in positions, I can grind down his time. See, Diamond ends with one turn left, right? No messing about. Experienced. And now, Cruel's like, fuck. I've got to think. <laughs> and he just can't he can't afford to think you've got to uh you've got to hone you've got to hone that uh autopilot right yes and not only was uh not only was blood ball three it was often two minutes as well right chalice was two uh, chalice was three minutes but uh ladder was two minutes but also there, there, there were the extra 15 minute chunks, weren't there? And those 15 minute chunks, 15 minute, 15 second chunks. Oh, he's failed the foul appearance on the blitz. Those 15 second chunks gave you a lot more time as well. I would have probably just blocked him first, who happened? But I guess he does. I guess the thing is, he wants to, he wants to hit this with a tackle and then foul it with. Sneaky get to it, player. And now you've got the, the the animations run down the clock as well. Three, four, five. Yeah, he can't get it three day, but he gets the block. He gets knocked down. This guy's still active. So he probably needs to put a rookie big on him, right? Here on the diagonal. Put him on the diagonal. Pick up the ball foul this one today <laughs> now <laughs> right fucking now <laughs> instantly do something pick up the ball now now Martin crew pick up the ball now now pick it up it's on the floor pick it up <laughs> <laughs> still in and we've still gone into the time bank again 10 seconds in the time bank this turn oh my god we're blocking here like this is a good block to make but it's costing you the time bank it's costing you time bank your time bank is evaporated in the very next turn you've gone from 25 to 0 so now on the crucial turn you will end in 2 minutes flat Oof. Oof. This is, uh... <laughs> There's one thing that we can be sure of. We're going to have to endure the clock bug. <laughs> and uh, he won't use any more time bank going forward. Yeah. Yeah. So this this could be the death of Martin Krul's run, right? Um, 
because he's got to learn to play fast. Yeah, like this is the thing. He he had to try and make the adjustment um, earlier, right? He had to make that adjustment this half. Hasn't made it yet. Has completely failed to make the adjustment against like five necro. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys. <laughs> He's smashed him off the pitch. And he hasn't adapted to fast to, to play faster at all, so that's not looking good for the rest of the half unless he continues to smash the absolute shit out of him. Um So yeah. Oh my god, dodge blitz, let's go. Full pow. Kaz. Unbelievable. Amazing animation. And he's just got to play fast. He's just got to play really fast now. <laughs> uh, right you gotta play fast Martin Crew. I guess you've never done it in your life before but you've gotta play fast now well no that's the thing I'm saying that right this was a jokey uh, that was a jokey comment I didn't mean that what he's got to do is he's gotta surely he has an autopilot of not thinking and just doing moves right but he's got to engage that now. Like, he hasn't engaged it yet. He's got to engage it now. Like, that's what does it mean, right? Maybe on the ladder. Maybe on the ladder he plays autopilot, right? And plays worse than this. Hasn't, hasn't you know, hasn't played badly so far. At all. But, um... Maybe on the ladder... He plays faster because he thinks less. And now he's thinking, oh, it's the chalice. You know, I've got to try hard. Got to think. Got to not fuck up because I'm against Diomed. He's got a really good necro team. So there's lots of reasons to like take your time in this. So, but you know, he's, he's got to get into it and he hasn't got it. He's had four turns to get into it. He hasn't got into it yet. So even if that is in his arsenal, he needs to be applying it right now. Like he needs to have applied it four turns ago. So that's a big problem for him right now. Big problem. I mean, he will play worse. Of course he will. Like, you know, of course, like, that's it, right? If anybody, if you if you if you try and play your turn two minutes versus trying to play it in forty minutes, you you'll make better decisions if you think about it for forty minutes, won't you? So like, oh wow, okay. This is. Uh... <laughs> it just ended the turn with twenty four seconds left. What? <laughs> I mean, I get it, right? Because the the trolls unassisted, and this is just a one D. But this was a two D. I guess it's because he'd got there, and he'd have a three plus dodge out, and at the moment he's got like a five plus dodge out and stuff. But um, you know, this can still just dodge out and come around, and this one can dodge and actually chain some chain this guy away to give the wolf the dodge out and stuff. <laughs> Try to top this time bank up this bad time. <laughs> it was really funny after all of the other turns going over and then this just right. 24 seconds to spare. Like, of course, it's harder to play fast, like, you know. Of course, it's harder to play fast than to play slow. That's obvious, right? That's why you have time limits in games. Time pressure. I do as well, but that's the thing, yeah. it's You're not going to play as well when you play fast. But he should have flipped that switch earlier, right? He should have flipped that switch earlier, and he hasn't flipped it. He should have flipped it when the, like, turns were easier. Um, it's like part... You know, I'm not just seeing it to say it as well, right? I'm trying to help him, of course. Try to be constructive and thing, and this this is the thing, you know? So, like... You've got to switch gears there so that you don't end up, you know, losing because of the time pressure, right? So, like, 
play faster on the easier turns. It's kind of like a part of the game, isn't it? Tournament games, especially, right? On the ladder, you're not playing Diamond very much. Yeah, Diamond has maybe fallen asleep on the toilet here. This is, uh, maybe he's thinking a lot about this turn, right? Like trying to, how to get the 2D on the ball and stuff. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But what he could do is he could push him into there and then that would knock the tackle off. So, oh my God. Ah, oh, it's a shamey regen. Not, not, not to be mean to Diamond, but to use your entire turn only to just instantly fail a dodge and die. It's peak blood ball, isn't it? That is absolute peak blood ball. Let me dip an out a minute into my time bank and then just instantly fucking fail the dog. Oh man, dies of old age, incredible. Was it a double one? It was an instant snake. Stand up, stand up, snake. <laughs> and then then the high dies to kill him. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> all that thinking. All that thinking just instantly snake. There's nothing more Blood Bowl than that, let's be honest. Uh, there's like, there's nothing stopping him now though, right? Pretty much. There's pretty much nothing stopping him except his time back. <laughs> the turn timer is what's stopping him right now. But now there's just like, there's so few Necro. I don't know why he can't switch. Like maybe he just doesn't play fast ever. Like maybe he can't, maybe he doesn't have that in his arsenal because dude, you've got two blocks. <laughs> Make the two blocks that you have. Otherwise you're not gonna get to make two blocks. You're gonna run out of time not punching this guy. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Mordred, that would be hilarious, wouldn't it? But I think, I think he's got this one in the bag. I really want to foul the, the wolf, but I guess you've got to foul the sneaky get DP, right? But whatever you do, crew, do it fast. <laughs> fast. This guy should already have been maximum squares forward. Just do it instantly. Don't think. Do it. Bam. Done. Then you hit this guy. Bam. Done. Blitz this guy. Bam. Done. Move something up. Yep, yeah, done, done, done. At least move him three here so he's fully in range, right? Should have already... You're 30 seconds in. You haven't just moved him into range. Right, good. Okay, I think he's going to... I think he is going to uh, save me from a heart attack now, at least. So that's good. There was an argument for blitzing with this one, right? To keep the tackler on the ghoul. Quite like keeping the tackler on the ghoul. I only, I only have two. So, like, so keep one tackle on the ghoul and then blitz with the other one. So you move this, move this troll up to here. Vegan can go up there. Vegan first to here in case you run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
Oh, you gotta go around the back. Is he gonna foul the fleshy? I don't like fouling the fleshy at all. I guess not necessarily, right? You could be fouling this one. The troll's just in between. Yeah, yeah, I really like fouling the ghoul. As much as I want to foul the wolf, the fact that the ghoul doesn't have regen, you've gotta go for it, haven't you? Not. Oh, double twos as well. Die. Oh, you were called! Not dice. Just got that turn in, by the way. Eight seconds left. Versus three standing players. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there is one very easy big takeaway for Martin Crew from this game. And that is hone your, hone your autopilot. Because um, apparently he doesn't have one. And, and you know, bang out games fast. End the fucking turn, man. You can get a big old gang foul on the gal this turn. Easy lesson. I mean, it was okay, right? First half was fine. You know, there, there, there were tough turns there. There were tough turns, and it was... Com I didn't even, like, you know... I didn't even think it was bad that he'd used, like... Four minutes or whatever, five minutes in the first half. Wasn't too bad. But it was to then, you know, lose what was left. Maybe not the whole of the first half. Like, the first few... The first... Lots of the time bank usage was reasonable shall we say. Using four minutes of time bank in the first half would have been completely reasonable. Um, but, oh yes, okay, this is the this is the best use of time. Oh yes, injured. <laughs> I mean, for ladder games, yes, yeah, so, so that's what he needs to do. That's what he needs to do now on ladder, right? On ladder, he needs to play faster than he's comfortable with, and he needs to get these fucking turns done faster. That's what he has to do. He needs to not end the turn now. He, he needs to score. There we go. He's, he's doing the score. He didn't daedle it. He's down a rookie. Doesn't matter. Diomed is down a fleshy and a wraith and a ghoul. And the other ghoul is KO'd at the moment. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 or 10 players for all the time. And if he doesn't have any ghouls, it's going to be very, very, very sad. Solid uptick, yeah. I'm not being mean, right? I'm not being mean at all. That's, that's what he has to do. He has to, he has to train himself to be able to play faster. He doesn't have to play faster every turn. Just need to make savings on the easy turns, really. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. And I get, like, you know, people don't play as much as me or Diamond and stuff, right? It's not going to be that easy to play fast for everybody. Especially when you're trying to play your fastest. You know, try to play your best, you know. But he, he needs the gears. Like, I know he's played quite a lot of Blood Bowl 2 Chalice. Didn't uh, switch over to Blood Bowl 3. But now he is on Blood Bowl 3 and... You know, it causes UI problems, etc. Blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, you just need to be able to play fast. So that you can spend the time on the, on the hard turns, right? Yeah, exactly how it is. Yeah, like, they, they were tough turns, right? Like, like look how long Diamond took, right? Thinking out exactly how he's going to try and set up the score to give him the best odds. Complicated turn. And then instantly snaked. But, like, that's fair enough. Like, th those turns use all the time that you need, right? And then, like, you know, don't necessarily... You know, you don't have to spend a minute to, on every turn, do you? You know, you can still spend one and a half minutes and, and 1.45 as an average turn and stuff. But, but you know, you just need to be able to switch when you have to.
It would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? It would be too, probably too powerful for bash teams in a way, right? Because they'd have the bang out all your players. But then I guess then the the agility team is also banged out, so they get they get the time bank back too as well. It's an interesting idea. It is an interesting idea refilling the time bank, honestly. Yeah, why not, right? Like if you use chess clocks, it's just uh, it's just like an outreach or whatever, isn't it? So yeah, why shouldn't you re be able to refill your time bank? And may and maybe I like that more actually, having these. Yeah, like I quite like the seven minutes time bank, but yeah, what if you could refill it? The problem is like you want it to be like inclusive as well, don't you? That's the thing. Like at the end of the day, I. I I do remember somebody on the Blood Bowl forums, like, you know, saying about how, like, they had something wrong with them that, like, you know, it took them ages and stuff. Um, I don't know who it was, like, you know, blind or something, right? Like, some, some, something that prohibited them from taking fast turns, and they really didn't like the seven minutes of time bank, it kind of wasn't enough for them and stuff. So, like, you know, you've got to allow for that as well, haven't you? But, um,. Like, in this situation, it seems like he's overthinking because he's in the chalice and he's playing diamond. Wehe. <laughs> Norse. I've only got one thing to say about Norse. Everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Pretty good, isn't it? Just a joke, that by the way, it wasn't a serious threat to uh, Norse coaches everywhere <laughs> on earth. Wow, just quietly, he's moved three players in one minute and 14 seconds. In fact, one minute and 20 seconds. Three players. This could be a real problem for him, like a real problem for him. Like, you don't get easier turns than this. Bang, 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 pick up the ball. And he's failed at it. He's failed, he's failed the turn. Big style. Five players left to activate. Expose the ball! Oh my god, how close was that? Move the other one first! <laughs> move this guy, if you're gonna move him to there, move this one first! Jesus Christ! I can't believe he moved that one first. That was outrageous. That was outrageous. <laughs> Just expose the ball fully. Fully expose the ball. Yeah, oh yeah, that, that's what it might have been. Actually, it might have been voice commands. Yeah, there's some, somebody in the Blood Bowl 3 Discord was saying, I think it might have been voice commands to the PC and like, you know. You don't even think of that, do you, as like, you know, as, as being a thing. And then like, you know, when, when you think about how bad the controls are and stuff, of <laughs> Blood Bowl 3, like how clunky the controls are. Like if somebody's got to use something like that, horrendous, right? So, you know. There was, def it was something, I'm sure it was, I can't remember what it was at all, but you know. I'm sure there's loads of things that people have, isn't there? But. 
you just don't think of if you don't have it or have never encountered it and stuff. So like, it's completely fine that, you know, some people will just take a long old time and can't, don't have any other option than to take a lot of time, but I don't think Martin Crew is one of those. I think he's doing it because he's thinking and he's really thinking and it's diamond and I've got to think, I've got to think, I've got to not fuck up. And he needs to get out of that mindset. He needed to get out of that mindset eight turns ago. Now Diamed has a team. <laughs> All right, basically, Martin Crew before was like, you know, you know the self-defense things, you know the, you know the women's self-defense videos. Before, that's what he was like. He was doing all the moves and stuff, and it was still taking him ages. But now he faces minimal resistance, <laughs> and it's uh, <laughs> it could be a disaster. <laughs> It could be an absolute disaster. Minimal resistance. Uh oh. Watch out. He should have been spending eight turns trying to play, but like, he, I don't. Maybe he just doesn't have it in him. Like, maybe he plays this slow on ladder. But um. Oh boy. <laughs> this is quite nice actually, isn't it? So now when you surf, oh, okay, when you surf, when you blitz, but I guess you, you could blitz him and then get the follow up hit with the, tr with the uh, troll as well. I was thinking, but this is actually much better, right? You get to put the troll in, which stops the side step square and it gets you three dice. That's actually great. Far better than what I was thinking of doing. And kills him. Brilliant. And now you can move him one to the left. Oh, no, I would have moved him one to the left and then move the ball back, move this up, and then block this guy. Do blur skulls. You put this guy up here, right? Secure this side. This is, I mean, this isn't, a, he's not in a great spot here, but he is powering everything. <laughs> I guess this guy could go up to there, really. Yeah, P punching this wraith is really good. Uh, ghoul, punch the ghoul is really good. Did he run out of time? No, he ended with 22 seconds left. He ended the turn without moving this guy. Oh, man. Oh, man. So he had to move this guy up. I don't think this is the right square for him. I think move up and do a 2db is better. Yeah, the, the, the backside here is 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 very open and he just let didn't activate this guy this guy moving up here would have sealed off the back right but now it's just a it's a dodge from him for guard and a dodge from him and his two dice on the ball I just crazy to end the turn with 22 seconds left he didn't even run out of time he just ended the turn without moving this guy up to like here or here or or anywhere. Yeah, he rolled a two and used the break tackle. Oh my goodness. Oh, and then chains him in. No, chains him out for a better uh, for a two and a two. Uh, yeah, yeah, two and a two. He could GFI with this zombie, can't he? He can GFI with a zombie, so it's two and a two. That's really nice, isn't it, actually? Bit greedy, like doing it. I guess it was a wrestle, so it's a two plus. Now the wolf can blitz, power, pick it up, run off. Gets the power on the second hit. I mean, at least he's got this guy back to react now, but he really should have been stopping the sack. Oh my god, he catches the ball! Oh my god, this is outrageous! 
You could GFI, right? And then uh, face him. Because, like, this guy can currently... You could double GFI, which gets him clear of him. And then he could dodge and base this. And it was funnily enough, it was from ending his turn. The funniest the funniest thing of it all was it was from his he willingly ended his turn with twenty two seconds left when he had this guy to act. Oh I hate this from Diamed. Hate this from Diamed. Like Do the second GFI, right? He only did one GFI. One rush. This guy can just assist, and then he can 2D you. I guess he's, th this one stops this, but like, if you go another one, this still stops this. Like, stop him assisting, right? Stop him assisting and make it 2D, I would say. But I mean, you know, obviously great, great player to, to do the, the 2 plus to move him and stuff, and... The, uh, the break tackle dodge and then the 2 plus to get there and the GFI to make it 2 into 2. You know, good, great spot by Diamed, but yeah, that should have been one extra GFI. Should have absolutely done the extra GFI there. So this guy couldn't make it 2D, but for some reason, is he going to blitz with this guy? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I mean, he kind of can't. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know how he's going to sack it. Like, he must want to use the tackle, but one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI? Like, it's going for a five plus dodge? His five plus dodge must, is, is, must be his plan. Dude, don't make an irrelevant blog up there when you play this slow. You're making irrelevant blocks with 30 seconds left of your time. Look at these animations, man. That's taken fucking 15 seconds to make a block. And he does another one! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Cruel, you are killing me! You are fucking killing me, Cruel! Oh my god, you're gonna not blitz! I mean, we've got lots of content out of this game. This is much better than watching a replay. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I wish I wish that was that exciting, Christopher B. <laughs> It is, yeah, yeah. I do as well. I do as well. I'm not being, I'm not being mean at all. But like, he's had twelve turns to adapt to this, right? Like, he had to adapt. He had to start playing faster. Like, I just, like, and I get that you could be a slow player and stuff, right? I get it. 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 Completely, but then you still don't just make a block that takes 15 seconds and then after it's taken 15 seconds and you now have 15 seconds left Don't make another one as well, right? Like then you surely you have to do this last hit now 
like Sol, exactly, right? Like Sol, when I was screaming at Sol, just move the rat ogre over, and he just didn't, and he didn't, and he didn't, and it was the one thing he had to do on the whole turn. The one thing he had to do instantly was move the rat ogre over here, just and just sat there and made it like a fucking block over here and watch his time run out. <laughs> yeah, but you should have done it. Like, you had two minutes, Sol, before time was running out. <laughs> you know... Like, you know, I'm sorry, I know you had the lag and stuff. I know you had the lag and stuff, but still. You know, maybe Martin Cruel's having that happen to him now as well, right? Maybe Martin Cruel's having that happen to him now. <laughs> but there was still a minute and 15 seconds before then, right? There was still a minute and 15 seconds before then. So, ultimately... Whatever it was. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, there was still a minute before then. A minute before. <laughs> but a minute before that, it was the most important thing was to get that Raug on it, right? That was the most important thing of the turn. Of the turn. With, with, with two minutes left, that's the most important move. Right? Like, I'm not, I'm not having a fight with you now, Sol, or anything. But, um, and I understand, like, how bad it was and stuff. But, oh my god, the, the troll just, uh, the troll just fell down. And this guy should be won over. Point is, what you have to do is, you have to prioritise, right? Like, you have, uh, so, you know, hopefully this is going to help. Not just crew, but other people as well. You have to prioritize things, right? You have to recognize the situation you're in, and that's whether it's board state or rerolls or whatever it is, right? And in this, and in this case, it's time bank. Time is a huge concern, right? You have to know how bad it is to run out of time and, and not be able to make a move, right? It's crippling. It's cost him a touchdown just now. Best he can do now is, is, is go to kicks, right? Win a roll off. So the, the most pressing thing is do not run out of time. And then that has to be the forefront of your mind and you cannot make a block that's burning 15 seconds and then make another block <laughs> and then not blitz, you know? Like, it's too much. It is also like I think during Palm's turns, yep, yep. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Huge Kaz. That might seal the deal. Honestly. Um, we've got like a down troll, so there's only four, five, six, seven, eight, nine orcs, right, active. Nine orcs active. And ten necro. So that, that Kaz could have sealed the deal. Hello, Bopiff. Wow. First time chatter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's fair enough, so. That's fair enough. Yeah, they're probably... Turn 21 panic, yeah. <laughs> exactly. This is the thing, right? This is the thing. And, and this is why you have to really be prioritised in the time. Because now this is a hard turn, right? This is a hard turn for anybody... For anybody, this is it's a hard situation. You're in a tough situation. You've got tough turns to make, and now you've got to play fast. And you still haven't made the transition yet to playing fast. You had to do that a long time ago. You had to recognise the situation he was in. I guess game state is just the same as like you know, just the same as board state, isn't it? Like you know, like where you know like. Work out that the uh, Wood Elves have a Frenzy War Dancer and don't get surfed instantly, right? It's something you should do. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is really looking very unlikely to score, I would say. From going to, like... Very likely to win 2-1 to very likely to lose 2-1 is wild. Absolutely wild. Oh, 
and the animations just take so long, don't they? That's that's the thing. Like it. I may maybe Martin Cruel is well. No, he can't play fast normally. I was gonna say maybe he's like me, and then you know when I ran out of time against Saul, it was like it was so out of left field for me to look, run out of time. It caught me completely by surprise. But he hasn't uh, he hasn't shown any any fast turns at all, right? So. It's not been a catching you out kind of thing, it's like. It's absolutely a, You've got to play fast. You've got to play faster. Yeah, fair enough, Rain, fair enough. Yeah, you know, I mean, Souls in America and it did. Um, yeah, I think, I think cutscenes turned off is. Uh, because I was watching the cutscene. Maybe he's not watching the cutscene. But, um. We did nine seconds, right? He had nine seconds and now he's out of time. Doing a block. Oh, now he's got a second left. Like, the blocks just take so long. You have to be fast. You have to be fast. No, I think he's trying. I think he's he's got into the mindset of. I mean, he said he had a long day at work or something. He said something. He said something, or he was ill or something. At the start. I can't remember what he said. He said something at the start of the at the start of the game. He said, "Don't be mean to me because." And I can't remember what it was. I'm not being mean anyway, right? It's not being mean. It's it's still not being mean, right? Um, it's not being mean. It's it's you have to you have to change. It's not bullying. It's not bullying. It's uh, it's not being mean. It's not bullying. It's you know. Just saying what he's got to do. And then losing my mind a little bit in frustration. That's not being mean, is it? This guy just have to dodge. Back to there. Ooh. Stops one short, I wonder why. My guy didn't really pick this for any reason other than it was max movement, right? And he's gone there. So he's got... I, Yeah, it stops an assist there. If this pals and this pals, one, two, three, four, five, GFI would stop an assist on that guy, so I guess that that is, you know, that's a better square than where he was or where I would have put him. I would have just gone probably max, I would have just probably, without thinking, put him max distance back and actually not get tagged, right, in case this guy gets hit. I'd actually like him not next to him, but yeah, maybe, maybe that was the best square. Interesting, isn't it? Super interesting. Uh, this looks really, really bad for Martin Krill now. Um, No way to free up this blitzer. And even if he did, he'd get caught by the wolf there anyway. <laughs> so. <laughs> I think you've got to go nowhere and you've got to try and engineer handoff threats. I think that's what you have to do. All right, the sidestep. I don't know. I'll be honest, I didn't think about it at all.
maybe dodge this guy off and rather than coming there well, that's a really nice place to go isn't it maybe you could have gone there and then blocked here right and then tried to get these both down the sideline next to each other next turn to score has to not follow now right because of the wolf really bad follow really bad follow there because now now by following the wolf can block oh he's got stand firm well, that doesn't matter he can still block and then if he doesn't stand firm he hits him again whereas if he didn't follow and the wolf hit he could just simply not use stand firm and then it would be a 2 and all one right But yeah, that was a, absolutely a bad follow. And he died because of it, so justice. Oh. Plim plum pushes. Thinking about a reroll, maybe he's only got two more turns to play, right? So I don't hate considering the reroll, even if you don't do it. Just you know, it's probably you know it's usually correct to think about things, isn't it? If you've got time. if we uh, zombie dodge guarding the sideline is pretty good isn't it but also put, putting him in and punching him is decent oh dodging and putting sized up on the ball okay and then getting the block there that's really nice actually isn't it yeah, really, really nice the break tackle is pretty nice isn't it actually Apple's the KO, finally gets a KO to Apple, but it's too late to matter. Dodge this one so we can 2D the uh, Blitz as the best play, definitely. Dodge him to the 2D this Blitz, uh, put him in between the two. Dodge that way. Wonder where he's going to go. Dodge blitz and then like pass it to him and screen him, right? Like if you roll a bunch of dice here, you're alright here. Dodge blitz pow run forward. Then he just dodges, passes it to him, he screens with him and then he dodges as well. So it's a pretty simple turn in what to do, because everything was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that it made made it quite a simple turn, but yeah, obviously not a simple dice. And um, did he snake? Probably. Wait, dodge was a four plus? No, that was the last one. It wasn't a snake. It was a one two. Unbelievable. Oh my god, went directly to the zombie. 
And then he gets to pick it up as well. <laughs> and win 3 1, probably. Wow. That's wild, isn't it? What a difference the clock made. They are res, yes, Christopher B. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Martin Krill, yeah, that was, that was the thing. Um, <laughs> if you watch it back, <laughs> you might notice a few comments about the time. <laughs> um, but, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say terrible things. But, uh, you know, that was it. 3-1 win. Congratulations, Diamed. Commiserations, Martin Crew. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.